In today's video, I want to talk about occupying your time as a man. Let's talk about it. Praise to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, when we look in the word, it talks about laboring with your hand. You know, it talks about not avoiding husbandry. You look at a lot of the professions, you know, you had some that were carpenters. These were agricultural people. They were farmers. And uh, it's very important as a man, when the book says return to old paths, just simply reading the Bible and talking about stuff of the old path is not it. You know, I encourage men, you know, as I pour in to the next generation of men that I have contact with, you know, in the physical outside of online to seek out some of them old ways of knowing how to uh, chop wood, how to, you know, do basic things and be able to survive on your own as a man. I'm not saying get so independent where you like, man, I'm anti-women or anything like that. And you're going your own way. But a lot of men these days, you know, partake in a lot of foolishness and get disrespected by a woman because they don't know how to be a man, but yet you've grown up to be 20, 30, 40, 50 years old. You got the body of a grown man, but you don't have a mind, you don't have the wisdom, you don't have the experience and the skill set. And uh, you know, when the word talks about seeking out wisdom, you know, until your old age, man, you have to do that. You see somebody doing something that you don't know how to do, you need to ask them. You see what I'm saying? The amount of men that I have to have come into my life because I'm not capable is very minimal. You know, it is, you gotta think from electrical, changing out wall sockets, I'm gonna get in there and get it done. Now, if it's like doing bigger electrical and I know I don't know how to do it and uh, I could get shocked or burn my whole house down, then 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 I might call somebody out. And that's the only time I've had to call somebody out. But other than that, man, I'm always willing to learn, seeking out, um, you know, wisdom from other men, especially where I live in the outskirts, man. I live in the country and you don't have all of these incapable men. You have men that have been, been groomed and brought up from youngins to be able to hold their own. You gotta think, that I, I, you might be lacking as a man if women are calling you sassy, you know, calling you entitled, calling you lazy. And as a man, there's certain ways that you can avoid ever being called that, and that's to stay working, occupy your time, do things that you know women don't want to do. Like in my house, there's things that I expect my wife to do, and there's things that she expects me to do. But you don't ever have to worry about my wife calling me, uh, uh, feminine and sassy because I'm constantly showing that masculine grit to be able to get it done to have that level of respect in my house. But you got to understand, oftentimes you're working in an environment where you got a lot of women and there's nothing that makes you unique other than your anatomy as a man. There's got to be something that that testosterone is being used for. You know what I'm saying? A lot of we have a lot of men, they have opportunities to learn, you know, how to be that historical uh, man returning to old past, but they choose not to. They want to be comfortable. And that's not the way of the book. You know, if you see a man uh, using a, it's your first time and you you a 18 year old, you see a man using a drill and you know, hey, hey, can you mind if I, you mind if I do it? You gotta ask for that experience. You know, my granddad instilled that into me at a very young age. 
in the absence of my father, man. He always had me in his pocket. Even if I didn't understand what was going on, some of them things I saw him do, that's the reason why I have the wisdom I have now to be able to do it, the knowledge to be able to do it and know how to do it correctly. I used to see my grandfather's failures in doing stuff as a man and the success stories. He had me out there learning how to change brakes at like nine and 10 years old. So when it, when, you know, when it comes to building an engine, when it comes to welding, when it comes to woodworking and things like that, that's why I'm heavily, you know, grounded in it and don't mind showing other men that. You gotta think, if I'm, if I, if I have somebody that's married and I know that woman is looking up for that man to be a man, I'm not gonna go over there and do anything and fix something for that man. We're gonna do some training, you know, some hip pocket training, some training on the fly. And then from there, man, I'll let that dude borrow the tools or do whatever he needs to go prove himself capable. Like the word says, study to show yourself approved. Somebody else can't be approved for you as a man. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to do that. So as men, make sure you are occupying your time based upon your abilities. You see what I'm saying? I'm not telling you to go out and, and get yourself hurt or injured, but do what you can based upon your abilities. Just simply being a couch potato, dropping a paycheck off, and, and, and sitting up eating and being a couch potato ain't it, watching football, that ain't it. You gotta do something to, to soak in wisdom. Where's this wisdom gonna come from? Where is this wisdom gonna come from? And if you don't, you're gonna realize men of true grit, like the ones that help build labor with these in this country are the last of a dying breed. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Wow.